Let's get to it. First up, let's welcome Page Cloud and presenting our Craig Fitzpatrick and Henry Brown. Hello, everyone. I'm Craig Fitzpatrick, founder and CEO of PageCloud. There's a part of the internet that's fundamentally broken, and I'm not talking about Wi-Fi. It's the experience of creating something, putting it online, and sharing it with the world. We call this web publishing. For the last 20 years, if you wanted to make even the slightest change to a page on the web, like moving something one inch to the right, you better be willing to call a developer or agency, pay hundreds or thousands, and wait days or weeks. And we think this is just wrong. You see, the problem is the people that know how to do this, all the HTML, CSS, they're less than 1% of the population. So that means the other 99% at best are able to fill in the blanks of a rigid paint-by-numbers template that was made by a developer. And the experience is terrible. But all that's about to change. In a page cloud world, everyone with a web browser gets complete creative freedom not just to surf the web or to fill in the blanks, but to really create it. Let me show you what I mean. Suppose you're a small business owner, a restaurateur, and you've just paid an agency for a beautiful professional site. But now, you just want to make some changes. From the page cloud menu in your browser's toolbar, which you dragged into position during sign up, just hit edit page. And in a second, page cloud comes to life, ready to accept your changes. If you know how to use PowerPoint or Keynote or Photoshop, you already know how to use PageCloud. So we're going to make some edits right now. Henry, let's bump the price on the beef tartare by a couple of bucks. Now we'll grab those last three menu items and delete those. Now I know that Henry's already uploaded a wine cellar tour to YouTube. So we're going to go to YouTube and grab that URL and drag it right to our page. We automatically get a fully functional YouTube player. We'll shrink that a bit and let it hang off the right side. And I know there's a, a, a Twitter widget down below, and I want to make some space. So we're going to drag it down, and we'll let it overhang on the map just a little bit. That looks great. Now there's a, a, a foodie event, and we're going to sponsor it and sell some tickets. So we're going to go to Eventbrite and drag that URL right onto our page as well. And just like that, we've e-commerce enabled our site. Now, we're going to drop the opacity on this a little to let that nice background image show through a bit. When we hit Save to look at our changes, they are immediately live on the web. There's no other platform on the planet that gives you this creative freedom. And this is a very different experience than logging into some back-end content management system, fighting with templates, or coloring inside the lines. This is content creation and manipulation without restriction. Now, there's one more thing we're going to do to this site to make sure it looks great on mobile. PageCloud dramatically simplifies the incredibly complex task of making web pages mobile friendly. Just enter mobile mode. And in seconds, you can reflow your content to make sure it looks gorgeous on a mobile device. So this is pretty close, but it looks like there's some text there that's going to be awfully small on a phone. So we're going to bump the font size just a bit. And when we hit save, all of that technology is taken care of for you. Let's look at another example. Suppose you're a designer, and you're creating something from scratch for a client. PageCloud actually changes the very nature of your browser. From the PageCloud menu, hit New Page. And you get a blank canvas ready to bring your designs to life. So Henry's got a Photoshop file open with a couple of layers. And we're going to copy a poster image right out of Photoshop and paste it directly in our browser. Straight from Photoshop to the web. This is a world first. Now, we're going to go back to Photoshop and copy one more layer. And we'll paste it and position it. And we're going to fill in the rest of this page in seconds. We'll start with a three-column pre-built PageCloud widget from the upcoming PageCloud store. We'll adjust our poster image. Next, we're going to pull in some images right from our desktop. And finally, we're going to finish this page off with a rich footer. But this isn't just static content. This is a live Instagram widget. It will be a live Instagram widget. Cut and paste, Henry. Oh. 
sort of the obstacle course yeah. today because of the Wi-Fi. We're going to give you more right. time, though, if okay, you don't no hiccup, so don't worry about that. Well, you should see a live Instagram widget and database-driven sign-up form. But to PageCloud, it's all just content. Maybe grab the image there, Henry. You can flip it horizontally and flip it vertically, resize and rotate, even clone objects. And when you're happy and you hit save, your design is immediately live on the web. There's no other platform in the world, when it has internet, that can <laughs> allow you to bring your designs to life so quickly and easily. Now, we're not all designers. I wish we were. But even professional designers sometimes go through a creative process where they look at the world around them for inspiration. And when they find it, they start from there. So we're going to take a look at the Apple site. They always have great designs. And if we felt that this was a good place to start, from the page cloud menu, we hit copy page. And what page cloud will do is analyze everything that's on this page, break it down into its root content, and rebuild it in page cloud editable format. No internet, eh? Do you want to switch to the video? We're just going to fast forward to this part of the demo. Oh, it looks like we're okay. Maybe I'll switch back. So PageCloud will analyze everything that's going on to this, on this page, break it down into its root content, and rebuild it in PageCloud editable format. It's pixel for pixel accurate. The only difference is you're now in complete creative control. No, let's go video. Kill the internet. There's some deep technology at work here, one of PageCloud's 18 patent-pending inventions. These are things that can only be found in PageCloud. And when our page comes back in edit mode, the first thing we're going to do is delete those Apple logos. They don't belong to us. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to replace their poster image with one of our own. Now, we're going to move that text up just a little, and we can come up with our own messaging. There's something we'd like the world to know today. You know, it would take another 45 minutes for me to show you everything that PageCloud can do. We haven't even touched on the great developer features. Full access to the source code that PageCloud generates and the ability to build custom widgets to extend the platform. We're releasing PageCloud to the general public this summer. But today, you can pre-order. And if you do so using the TechCrunch, uh, sorry, the Disrupt promo code, you're going to get an amazing price of just $75 for the year for your site. When the conference ends, so does the special offer. So pre-order today and become one of the first people to truly experience the web the way it was always meant to be. Thank you. All right. Great job. Judges, feel free to jump in. Uh, I'll jump in. I have a bunch of questions, um, but I'll start at the beginning. So if you sort of look back across the successive periods of big shifts in CMSs on the web, each of them have been driven by some sort of fundamental changes in technology. Um, your, your presentation was good, but I'm not... Uh, tell me more about the technology. What are you doing? You know, w why is this fundamentally different than the platforms that are out there today? Sure. Uh, so there's two things. Uh, I guess you could say that from a technology point of view, we've actually accomplished a lot that's never been done before, um, which is hard to believe given there are some billion dollar companies in this space. Copying right from Photoshop to the web, the ability to duplicate a page in place and move it into a visual editor, this stuff has just never been done. And there's 16 other inventions. So for, we have some deep technology. But um, when I'm designing, I like to lead with experience, uh, the user experience. And I think that what, what's fundamentally different here is the approach. I think that what the other 99% of people understand and what they want is to be able to point out some content, go like this, make some changes, hit save, because that's the way, that's their experience of computers for the last 20 years. And us being in the technical field, we're very rare. We, we are that small minority. And maybe we don't mind fiddling with HTML or templates or whatnot, but for the vast majority of people, that is incredibly frustrating. And I think no, no matter how amazing the web and how huge it is today, I think we've just seen the tip of the iceberg, and when you put that kind of a, an experience and technology in the hands of everybody, like, it's just going to explode. What's, uh, what's your business model? Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's a SaaS product, monthly fee. We charge by the site. Um, it's 
you know, pricing wise accessible to everyone, 24 bucks a month, uh, aimed at small businesses primarily. And uh, if you were to segment that further, I would say the, pro the professional segment. So professional designers and the developers that would support those designers. Ultimately, it lands in the hands of the SMB. And the background on yourself and, and your co-founders? Sure. Uh, I'm a sole co uh, so, sorry, sole founder. Um, I started writing code when I was nine years old. I ran product uh, starting at, at 19 uh, for six different startups before starting PageCloud. So I have a deep technical background. Um, but besides the technical parts, my, my background's a little bit different. My first professional gig, I was recruited into an environment where there were two designers for every developer. So I had a lot of the experience stuff beat into me. Um, instructional designers, graphic designers, and so forth. So that's always uh, played a big influence in my life and, and kind of led me to uh, come up with this experience for users. I feel like there's a, uh, there's a bucket of other services that are also in the same space. Um, what's the strategy for getting folks to ditch what they're already using and to use what you've built? Um, so there's two things. I mean, from the, from the technology point of view, copy page would help a lot with that, the physically moving. But I think the bigger issue is behavioral. It's about you know, how do you get someone to be willing to change and, and move from one thing to another. And because my team and I were seven people, by the way, I don't think I mentioned that, um, we've been quietly showing this to people for the last eight months. Uh, I've been doing some public speaking and showing, I went to a product hunt event and we've shown 100 people live. We've shown lots of one-on-one -on -one demos of another 100 people. And even though they've tried most of these tools, it's one of these visceral reactions like, you have to see it to believe it. And when they do see it, it's awesome. Their eyes light up. They swear. Like, the, the reaction is just awesome. Um, so I think there's a willingness there. When we look at a lot of the other players out there, they have a lot of users, but I, a, a big percentage of them are unhappy users or users that are feeling frustrated. And I know that you can't bring out something that's 10% better, but PageCloud is so wildly different that when they do see it, there is a willingness there. Um, so we might have to catch them on their annual re refresh cycle, but, but we'll catch them. Now, in, in terms of how we reach those people, we also as a team knew that you don't start marketing when you finish the product. So for the last four to six months, quietly, we've been running tests in different uh, advertising channels, testing messaging, um, uh, imagery, conversion rates. We know that we can get a qualified visitor to our site for 75 cents. Qualified meaning they've self-identified as being in, interested in web design. Uh, we know that we've run test campaigns and we can convert into an email address, um, if we do it right, around 15%. We've been able to prove that, so that's very good. We start the remarketing engine. And um, we've just started to pull in pre-sales as well. And so we have a sense of what our conversion rate is. We're getting very close to proving that for every dollar we spend, we get a couple bucks back in revenue. So for an early stage company, you know, we're very numbers driven. What's the profile of your target initial customers look like? Um, I would say it's, it's two. I think it starts with a designer because these people are still the gatekeepers of the web, at least in the business segment. Uh, most businesses, the, the irony is that, well, maybe they could build it themselves with a, a great tool. Um, I personally would never recommend they do that because they're not a designer. So I think, and the PageCloud experience really changes a designer's world. When they can go from Photoshop to the web directly, that's just absolutely paramount to them. Um, and then uh, they will give the keys to the customer and say, okay, I've done the heavy lifting and the creative for you, but when you do want to just change your menu, here's how you do it. And call me back if you want me to redo the creative, or something like that. What can't you do with PageCloud? Um, well, there's a lot of uh, the technical parts of the demo, which I couldn't show in this venue. It is actually a full front-end development platform. So what a developer can do, interestingly enough, is we always say you shouldn't have to know code to be able to do everything I, I showed you. But if you do, sky's the limit. So you can do, actually do quite a lot. But there's a sweet spot. And I think the sweet spot is SMBs. You know, we're talking 30 page sites or less. On those pages, you can have really rich dynamic widgets. They can go get things from databases. They can be e-commerce enabled. There's a lot of things you can do. I wouldn't try and build, you know, 100,000 SKU e-commerce store with it. And I wouldn't necessarily build, you know, IBM's corporate site with it. But those are actually a small number of sites. Uh, I would say, you know, the vast majority of them are 30 pages or less. Very uh, content driven. Um, images, video, that sort of thing. So, uh, I think that's actually the mass market. Don't you think SMBs are content with Weebly? I mean, wouldn't, it, wouldn't the kind of person that would uh, even realize the need for something like this be someone who's more exposed to tech or at least? It would be the designer. Uh, what I found in talking to hundreds of these people is that your Weeblies, your Wixes, uh, they don't get taken seriously by the professional. Uh, it's because they have dramatic limitations in their experience and their technology for people that are just banging out sites all day long. 
and that's part of what the draw is to PageCloud for those people. And it, to a certain degree, those are the tastemakers. You know, they will help bring this into the SMB market. So, sorry. A, a quick question about. So it, it feels like that uh, five, eight years ago, that being just a um, a platform to create pages was enough. Um, and you've clearly built some awesome technology to do that. But how do you think about distribution, SEO, social distribution, the marketing cloud? It seems like a lot of these people is, uh, and places, you know, once I built my page on PageCloud, how do I get people there? How do you connect me to mm -hmm. the audience and to distribution? How do you think about that? That's all widgets. Um, so you touched on a couple things. Uh, which, and I didn't get to show you this in the platform, but you can pop the hood on the code and the developers can do high optimization for SEO. They can connect to third-party services, any marketing automation that you want. It's actually very straightforward. Um, and to us, what we have primarily is the world's greatest layout engine. Um, and we don't think that we need to reinvent all of those wheels. What we do think is that we need to integrate with all of them. And so what we've done is made that incredibly easy, whether it's e-commerce, SEO, um, MailChimp, email campaign tools, all of those sorts of things. Can I, um, can I use the product from a mobile device? Um, you would create on your desktop today. It creates mobile sites, but you wouldn't do creating on your mobile. Yes. Since you alluded to it, but you didn't, um, I have a slightly different question about competition. Who are you most concerned about? Uh, someone like me. Yeah. Um, you know, there, there are billion dollar players out there. They, in my opinion, you know, working neck deep in this field for a while, haven't really changed much in the last 10 years. It's been pretty stagnant. Um, so who knows if there's another guy like me in a basement somewhere. Um, I do know that our way of doing things, both experientially in terms of the user experience, but also architecturally, is so radically different that if one of the big guys wanted to start chipping away at us and do what we do, um, I have a deep enough technical background to know that they would have to throw out their entire code base because we just do things fundamentally differently. Um, whereas a, a new entrant like me wouldn't have to do that. Um, so the one that we run into the most, interestingly enough, is not a Weebly or a Wix, because we're in the professional segment. It's the WordPress. They're the gorilla. And it's kind of good for us because we are such different solutions that you know, them being a template-based solution, uh, you start fighting with the tool about 24 hours after getting your site up, because it's just very rigid. And when we can walk in and say, yeah, you don't have to worry about that anymore, that's tremendous. Um, so I guess that's a good thing. Any last quick questions from the judges? All right, that was PageCloud. Great job.